All right, so yesterday I asked you guys to finish up, okay, the CUDA worksheet on exponents and multiplication. Okay, so this was just one thing. It was just solidifying the adding of uh, the powers here with multiplication. Okay, so uh, real quick, did everybody at home do their uh, nine through 16? Yeah. Did you hear yes or no? Yeah. Okay, Angela? Mackenzie? Kevin? Did you guys all do it? All do it? Yeah. All right, cool. This is Potts. Do you do it? Yes. Maya, do you do it? All right, just put it in the chat. Let me know. Okay. Do you guys all do it? Andrew, Kanye? Kanye, did you do it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Harshan? Yeah, there we go. Did you guys all do it? Did you attend lunch yesterday? Yeah, that's what I thought. Did you guys all do it? Okay, I know you guys will get caught up today. Did you guys all do it? Jack, did you do it? Jack. Jack, did you do it? Okay. All right. Yeah, um, I mean, hey, one time's a mistake. Second time must be true, right? You know? All right. So yesterday we were talking about this, Kanye. Remember, we had three parts to number nine. I'm going to zoom in for you. <clears throat> okay. With number nine, Kanye, we have numbers, we have X's, and we have Y's, correct? Remember that? So with the numbers, we only had four. But with the X's, we had X to the fourth and X to the third. What would that be? X to the seventh. And then we just had y to the third. So this problem just became 4x to the seventh, y to the third. Hope you're okay with that. Is that what you got? Yeah. Nice job. Now, number 10 said this, uh, AJ said 4y times x. Well, was there anything to combine here? No, we just had a four, a y, and an x. We can't combine like y and an x. So this was just four xy or four yx, okay? I like writing things alphabetical, so that's why I wrote it xy, okay? But there we go. Harshan, you good with this? Okay, Harshan, you're gonna help me out with number 11. And number 11, it looks very complicated, agreed? But it's not, we have numbers, Six and four. What is six times four? 24. Now we have letters. Okay, so let's break down the letters. Let's start with the axis, right? We only have x to the fifth here, correct? So I'm going to write x to the fifth. Now y, right? We have y to the fourth right here and y to the what power right there? First, very good. Because if there was no number, it's understood to be one. So, Harshan, y to the fourth and y to the first is y to the. We have four and one, which is five. Remember, we add them. Remember that, Harshan? Now let's go to z. We have z to the fifth and z to the fourth, which is z to the. Nine. That wasn't that bad, was it? Pretty simple. Remember to break it down. Now, Delaney, I can't see all of 12, so I'm going to move that. But Delaney, can you help me out with this? Cool. Thank you. I know you're reluctant. I know. It's no longer our hockey season, right? I know. It's a bummer. Okay. So here we have numbers. We have X's, we have Y's, and we have Z's, okay? Now, we only have a three, correct? So I'm gonna start off by writing three. Now, how many X's do I have? Nine. 
because I have x to the fifth and x to the fourth, so it's x to the nine. Let's go to y's. How many y's? Two. Y squared. Very good. Z's? Z to the, which is that? We have z to the fourth and z to the first, which is z to the fifth. That's what I thought you said, but I couldn't hear you over the vent going. Sometimes it, you know, I didn't pass my hearing test from the nurse. Might be another reason why she's kind of mad at me at times. Okay. Huh. Any questions? Sophia, you okay with this? Okay, I know you said that, you know, Gonzaga lost, if you completely destroyed the bracket. Okay, but, you know, it's okay. We have next year. All right. Now let's go to 13. Liam. <clears throat> Looks complicated, right? So let's just break it down, the numbers. Okay. What are we going to get? Four, because two times two is four. All right. Now I know you're doing it too. You're like, which letter comes first in the alphabet? H. And I had to say the alphabet myself. So H to the one power, four. Because three and one is four. J. Nine. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. By the way, I went fishing yesterday. Uh, yeah, I caught five. Okay. A couple small ones, a couple decent sizes. And then my friend caught a pretty nice size palomino. It's kind of upset because it bit my line and then spit out the hook and then it ate his. That's how it goes, though, some days, right? Drew? What about 14? A to the what power? Yep, A to the third, B to the ninth, C to the perfect. And 15. So we have two times six, that's 12. P to the B, Q to the sixth, and R to the first. I was really hoping that I did write it in alphabetical order. I was kind of nervous for a second. I know. I had to say it now, but like in the moment, I was very unsure. And then I was going to have to erase the problem and do it over. And then Jordan would make fun of me and be like, <laughs> my math teacher doesn't know the <laughs> alphabet. Posted on like Schoology or something. Somebody might go to like rate my teacher. That might be why you teach math tonight. That's right. It's also why they have Grammarly and stuff. Yeah. All right. Two times four is eight. We have x squared, y to the fourth, and z to the fourth. How do you guys feel about this? You two feeling all right? Matt, you feeling all right? You okay with this? Jordan, you all right? Cool. Jordan, who do you play today? Ridley? Are they good? I heard they are a physical team for the boys. So. All right. So now we have division. Okay, so yesterday was all about adding. Today is going to be all about subtracting, right? So what we're going to do here, what we're going to do here with these, okay, is we are going to just subtract the exponents, okay? Now, here's the thing, and we're going to get more into this later, all right? But I'm going to kind of go over it now. So I'm going to go over a couple of the ones at the beginning. But number two, number two is going to be a little interesting. And we'll talk about that, okay? We'll talk about it. Because it's interesting because of this part of the statement right here. 
only positive exponents. So we're gonna show how to kind of work through these problems, okay? Now, remember yesterday, we only went over two problems with the division I showed you, okay? So long story short, five to the fourth meant we had five times five times five times five, okay? Yep, but Neve, we're just gonna be working with the exponents. So I'm not gonna evaluate, which brings me to my next part. If it says evaluate in the directions, you're gonna to wanna to do what Neve did and give me like that number, okay? If it just says simplify, we're just gonna do what we're doing here, okay? So evaluate means I want a number like 625, all right? But simplify means I wanna use exponents. So in the numerator, I have five times five times five times five, and in the denominator, I just have five. And we know if we have the same thing on top and bottom, we cancel it out. So this would just be five to the third. Notice to go from here to here, I would simply do five to the four minus one, which is three, okay? You okay with that, Jordan? Now, in number two, this is why it's a little tricky, okay? It says write containing only positive exponents. So hope with this one, I wanna go over it two ways, okay? And one way we're gonna talk more about a little later, but I wanna bring it up now. Here, if we do it this way, we have a three on top, and then we have one, two, three threes on bottom, agreed? And if we have the same thing on top and bottom, they cancel out. And now notice, I have my fraction bar, right? But there's nothing on top, but there's stuff on bottom left. Like over here, there was stuff on top and nothing on bottom, so I didn't need the fraction bar. But now I do, right? How many threes are left? Yeah. But where are they, Hope? On the bottom. So I'm going to write three squared over one. Now notice that has a positive exponent, right? Which abides by that. But now let's talk about this, the shortcut, right? It said we can subtract, agreed? There's one three on top. So we did one minus three, agreed? Just like here, we did four minus one. But what's one minus three, Hope? Ooh. So here, these two things, three to the negative second and one over three squared, they're the same thing, okay? So when we are doing division, we have to be careful of where are the threes? Are they up top or are they down bottom? Okay, if it has a negative exponent, all right, when we do this, if I subtract Kanye, because I know you're a music person, right? Love music, have your own SoundCloud, right? Okay. Do you want to shout it out on my YouTube channel? Get some followers? Okay. So here, when we subtract our exponents, if we get a negative exponent, it goes down bottom. And I sing that song, Should I Say or Should I Go by The Clash? So if it's negative, it needs to go. It's not in the right spot. So it needs to either go up top or down bottom. So we'll talk about that more later. You sure? One more chance to give a shout out of your uh, SoundCloud? Okay. I, I have like 12 followers. It's a lot. It's a lot. How many you got? Infinitely more. That's right. Okay, here in number three, all right, I have two twos on top and three twos on bottom. I can cancel some of these twos out and I have one over two, okay? And if I were to do it that shortcut way, I would see that I need to do two minus three, which is two to the negative first. And we can see that again, they're the same, okay? So I want you to start picking this up and realizing like, hey, I can still do two minus three, that's negative one, but that just means it's one over two, okay? Here, 
<clears throat> two to the fourth over two to the second. That's two to the four minus two, and that's two squared. AJ, you okay with that? All right. Now, if we look at number five, this is where they kind of get a little trickier, right? Because now I'm bringing more into the problem. You see that, Harshan? I'm bringing more than just numbers or variables. Now I have numbers and variables, okay? So I like to start out with a fraction bar, okay? This is going to tell me I have, num I have things on top and on bottom, okay? For Sean, let's just look at the numbers. Three and a two, can you do anything with the three and a two? No. no, they can't be simplified. So I'm going to write three on top and a two on bottom. Now let's look at the R's, Harshan. There's one R here, right? R to the third over R to the first. What do I do with those exponents? Subtract them. I'm glad you changed your answer there, okay? Yesterday was add, today is subtract. Got it? So it's three minus one. So I'm gonna write R to the second, and notice it's up top, right? Because three minus one was positive two. If it was negative two, I would have put it down bottom. Does that make sense? Over here. So you ready? Seven and four, can I reduce them? No, seven and four, it don't work. K's, right? We have K to the second, K to the third. So what do I do with this? Am I gonna add the exponents or subtract? Yeah. So it's two minus three. Negative one. Okay. Now, where does that K go? Is it gonna go up top or is it gonna go down bottom? Well, remember the directions say positive exponents, right? So that means it needs to go down bottom and it's gonna be K to the first. So, a little like kind of reminder here is if when I subtract those exponents, if it's negative, I want to put it in the denominator, okay, and make that exponent positive. If when I subtract those exponents, I get a positive answer, well, then it's going to stay in the numerator, okay? So let's look at this one more time. In number five, three minus one was two. That's a positive number. So it was r to the second in the numerator. Now with soaps, it was k to the second over k to the third. So if I do two minus three, I get negative one, but I, I, I can't have a negative exponent. So it's gonna be k to the first, but in the denominator. You cool with that? You sure? You seem overwhelmed. I see Drew's hand creeping up in the back. What's up, Drew? Okay, so I assume you've worked on ahead, correct? Which one are you on? Nine? All right, let's skip to nine and then I'll go back to seven and eight. Okay, so Drew asked about this, right? So let's kind of look at this. Eight over 10, Drew. Eight over 10, right? Now, let me ask you this. Is there something goes, that goes into eight and is there something that goes into 10? Two. How many times does two go into eight? How many times does two go into 10? Five. So eight over 10 became four over five, okay? Now, all right, when in doubt, write it out. You like that? Just came up with it. When in doubt, write it out. Okay. Now you're in doubt, right? A little bit, a little bit in doubt. Kind of like I'm doubtful that the Eagles won't blow the draft this year. 
little doubt. Okay, so I'm going to write it out. So I'm going to write out, we have m to the third on top. It's m times m times m. You okay with that, Drew? On bottom, I have m times m times m, right? Now, we have the same thing on top and bottom. m and m, they cancel. m and m, they cancel. m and m, they cancel. I'm just left with four over five. You see that? Now, let's talk about how can I just go from kind of like here to here pretty quickly, right? That kind of like, I guess, shortcut. Well, eight over 10, that just reduces to four fifths. But let's look at m to the third over m to the third. Through what's three minus three? What's three minus three? Now, n to the zero, we haven't really talked about yet, right? But notice, that means I have zero m's in my answer, right? Does that make sense to you? Notice, my answer has zero m's in it, correct? There we go. <clears throat> All right, so let's look at number seven. Number seven, 10 over six. Jack, what's 10 over six? 10 over six. What is it? Can I reduce it? To what? What goes into 10 and what goes into six? Five does not go into six. You're close. My answer will have a five in it, but how did you go from 10 to five? What did you take out? Well, we're not subtracting, so what did we divide by? Two. 10 divided by two is five. What's six divided by two, Jack? Three. Now let's look at the P's. We have P to the fourth up top, P to the first down bottom. What do we do with those exponents, Jack? Well, we were adding yesterday, so today we are. So it's four minus one. Great. So this would be five P to the third over three. Are you going to copy any of this down today? Let's look at number eight. In number eight, three to 10. Destiny, did three to 10 like simplify out? No. I'm just gonna write three over 10. But Destiny, we have B to the first up top and B to the third down bottom. What are we gonna do with the one and three? We're gonna subtract. What's one minus three? Negative two. And since it's negative, it goes down bottom. You okay with that? How do we feel? Not too bad? Still doing all right with this, AJ? Okay. Now this goes up to what? 16? 20. 20. Ooh, oh boy. All right. So let me keep going. Then let me get to... Let me do number 10 halfway, just like yesterday. All right. All right, in number 10, first thing I'm gonna look at is seven and two. Can I reduce seven and two? Whoa. Got it on hook. You couldn't hear me whisper, but I was saying you were texting the answer. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. It's okay. You're texting it to, to Sophie. All right. Oh, seven and two. Can we reduce that? No, we can't. Seven and two can't reduce. But I hope we have end of the third and end of the fifth, right? What do we do with those exponents? Subtract them. 
So what's three minus five? Negative two. And since it's negative two, where does it go? In the bottom. You okay with that? All right. So I want you guys to do 11 through 20. Same deal. Okay. Not going to do homework, but same vibe, Kanye, right? I'm going to ask you if you did it. Maybe I check tomorrow. Okay. You never know. Maybe I actually walk around and then, instead of asking you your word for it. You never know. All right. So we're going to do the same thing. You have about eight minutes to get those done. Okay. And then we'll continue on with uh, a new rule.